Hey guys, it's Gigi, so I'm gonna try not to talk as loud as I usually do. The spring allergies have gotten me in my last video. I did an I love spring tag. If you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. But I am so congested and my throat is so sore. I literally have hit up the pharmacy and gotten throat lozenges, sleep medication. I'm literally an old woman with her medications. I get so many questions about my nails on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like because I change them up so much and I've gone through so many phases of nails. I mean, I've gone really long, really short, square, over crazy colors, just everything you can possibly think of under the sun. So that's another reason I'm doing this video, just to really keep it up to date. Get it? Um, so basically I have, oh, one more thing before I get started. I am living for my mascara today. I'm wearing Benefits They're Real, and I've had a love-hate relationship with that product. I know my eyelashes are real. I don't have to use a mascara to have people ask me if they're real. It gives no length, no volume, no nothing. I don't know what was wrong with me. Literally, I needed someone to slap me right across my face. I haven't left my house yet, but we'll see if anybody asks me if they're fake. And I will obviously respond, no, the rel. I've done um, my favorite nail polish video before, but it was like a long, long time ago when I actually just moved into this room, which was like forever ago. Starting off, just getting these two things out of the way. My favorite nail polish remover, I mean, I haven't tried that many. I, I'll kind of just use whatever there is. I use this brand called Quo. It's available in Canada in the uh, pharmacy or drugstore, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and it's basically just the nail polish remover. They have like acetone free and they have like nail strengthening, but I think it's seriously all the same thing. Might as well just use the strongest one. I mean, if you're 70 years old and your nails are about to then you might want to invest in a strengthening nail polish remover, but really you just want to get the job done. So that's that. The nail file I use, which I've been talking with the whole intro, I just love talking with something in my hand, you know? I used to have a really cute nail file that said gorgeous on it, and it was in rhinestones. Does anybody remember from my Lady Gaga music video? Cute flashback. I have since lost it, but if I let you know, I'll like Instagram or something to let you know it's still alive. The best nail files look like this. They're just black. They're like really chalky. It's literally sandpaper on a stick. I need my nails filled so bad. But anyways, moving on to the actual nail polishes. This one is Purple Panic, and it's a neon by China Glaze. I absolutely love this color. It's just so neon. Any of the neon polishes by China Glaze, they dry so fast. These look great with tans, and they're just super fast, like I said, and they were like my favorites, favorites in high school. Um, I don't really wear that much neon anymore. I'm like wearing it right now. The next is Flip Flop Fantasy, and I swear that this was a neon, but I guess not. It looks like this. It's a coral color. It's so, so bright. I talked about it in my March favorite. Favorites. I have it on my toes right now. I'm not gonna show my feet because last time I did so many foot fetish people <laughs> It sounds so weird, but I swear they were like, oh baby your feet are beautiful and smooth Yeah, duh. I just got a pedicure get off my video. So yeah now moving on to kind of the everyday colors I love just like clean baby pink with a little bit like or like white nails that just make your hands look really clean and feminine and um clean and feminine and you know just like clean and feminine the very first one is my all-time favorite baby pink it's called mod about you it's like literally like white with like a little like two drops per bottle of baby pink color it's so nice it just makes your nails pop if you are dark skin like african-american or latina or whatever this literally looks gorgeous on you or filipino the next one is alpine snow which looks like this and it is a pure pure white color um you guys know i rant and rave about white colors i'm going to be doing my nails white in the summer of course this is like a golden goddess color. This is upfront and personal, which is like the weirdest name. I know that there's someone out there getting paid to nail name these nail polishes, and this is upfront and personal. Which sounds very confrontational and very what's that word? Controversy. Oh my god, I missed a neon. This neon is called Neon Yellow of, and it's from the American Apparel line. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but when you check out an American Apparel, there's like literally like. 50 nail polishes. I mean, maybe even more. I'm trying to make 50 sound like it's a big number. They have like glow in the dark. I mean, this one might, e might even glow in the dark. Who knows? But I mean, you're never going to find neon nail polishes like you can at American Apparel. These are gorgeous. And then the last two pastels I have, I don't know if you guys remember, a few videos ago, I was talking about this American Apparel nail polish, and this is in Coney Island, and it's just the perfect baby pink. It reminds me a lot about Mod About You. I was mentioning that I used to have another one that was the exact same thing, so I thought 
thought, and then I was digging through my nail polishes, and I found this one, which is the exact same thing, but it's a little bit lighter. I don't know if it got lighter over time, but it's still called Coney Island. The only thing that's different is it has a little gray top, which I think looks tacky and annoying and disgusting and repulsive, so I'm really glad that they changed it to a black top. I just really, really wanted to pay homage, you know, to the Crackle nail polish that died, that came and died in what, like five months or something like that? I loved it, but you know, it was a little bit tacky, but... I mean, all trends are like a little bit tacky. You just have to get into them, you know what I mean? Speaking of nail trends, there's one going around right now which I've actually never had on my nails and I'm so disappointed about it. It's like a nail color and then the whole perimeter of the nail is covered in like black or white or something. It's just really, really odd, but I love the look of it. I always thought that they put the nail polish down first and then with like a little um, nail art design pen, like go around it I guess. I guess you could do it that way but I was watching this video yesterday called um, it's it's by Nails by Lynette. I don't know if you guys know her on here. She does this like Pac-Man nail tutorial. I'll link it right here right over, oh, this pair of heels that's conveniently there. There aren't really too many people on YouTube that I can really watch like a full video of their nail tutorials. I mean a lot of the time it's just their nails like, and not even their face, you know what I mean? And sometimes I want to see someone talking. And she's given me kind of like a better idea about how to do my own creative nails because I seriously could only get creative in the nail salon. Like, I was like, do this on me, do this. But when it comes to at home, like, I can like paint my nails. Yeah, that's cool. But I couldn't do any designs or anything like that. And she just makes it look so easy. So it's kind of inspiring to me. Maybe I'll try to channel my inner Lynette and do some nail tutorials soon. Shout out to Lynette. I'm going to put her um, channel in the description box below. Definitely just subscribe to her. She's amazing. Amazing. She does great nail tutorials and they're really like nicely edited, which is nice to watch I mean some people have skills others don't and moving on I'm kind of gonna get into the crazier colors and this one's called honk if you love OPI And it's really really similar to Lincoln Park after dark I think Lincoln Park after dark is just a little bit less purple. This is like a very very dark blood purple Maybe this is what our blood color looks like when it's in our body Have you heard that like our blood is like blue or something and then when we cut ourselves and it like reaches oxygen It's red these fucking scientists out here, I can't even deal. This one is a nice, very soft purple color. It's almost a lavender. I wouldn't say it's there yet. Actually, I would say it's there yet. It's a lavender color. This is a good example of a good name for an OPI polish. A grape fit. A great fit, a great fit. As I said, I used to be into uh, glitter nail polishes like so much. I was literally Honey Boo Boo Child. You know how she's like hollows for a dollar or whatever? I'd be bitter without my glitter, girl. This one is in Excuse Moi and it's by OPI and I love this glitter. You might think that it's really, really super um, Christmassy. I think this is actually from the Muppets collection. This has lasted me really long and it's still a really nice consistency and everything. It depends what color you pair this underneath. If you do this with the red, I think that it'll be really Christmassy, but if you were to pair this underneath like a coral color or a pink color it would look so pretty and this glitter OPI glitter is just the the best of the best and the last colored nail polish I have is from the Nicki Minaj line this is my and I used to be obsessed with blue nail polish oh my god don't even get me started girl on blue nail polish I was obsessed and I would look back I'm like that is like electric blue that's like such a disgusting blue but I mean what can you say we all make mistakes in life this one is called Fly, and it's just a beautiful turquoise color. I've held on to it. I only really wear it when I really want to wear a blue color. You probably can't even get the Nicki Minaj uh, line anymore from OPI, yeah, so... One of those is gonna break. The matte top coat from American Apparel. I love this product. It is so great. It makes your nails, like no matter what nail polish you're wearing, it's so true. It makes them matte and it makes them so pretty. I think matte nails are really on trend right now. I don't. I mean, I don't know when they got on trend, but I see so many na matte nails on Instagram and stuff like that, and I love it. And the very last nail polish that I want to show you guys is this OPI Nail Natural Nail Strengthener. And I rarely, rarely, rarely do not not have nail polish on my nails. I remember last summer there were so many days where I had no nail polish and sometimes it feels really good. Um, I know a lot of people say that their nail beds turn like yellow because of their they're wearing nail polish so much but that never happens to me so. I was a natural born tea girl. Thank you so much God. This is great just to put on your nails for that shine obviously and so your nails are strengthened for the next time that you want to bring them down with nail polish or acrylic powder or anything like that. So I really hope you guys enjoyed that nail polish video. I am literally about to go to Starbucks and get a tea. My throat is on fire. And if you guys have a favorite nail polish video, definitely leave it as a video response and I will get around to watching that. And if you don't have one, feel free to make one and leave one as a video response. I accept all video responses. So have a gorgeous day and until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.